Yeah. You're on video. Yeah. Okay, so um, a bit of an update on the wet garage floor this morning story. Um, I've still got probably to the annoyance of one or two people who just don't want to believe science, but I've still got the kit here. So we're doing some proper scientific measurements again. Um, but if you have a look at the floor, it's drying out. So we're trying to work out why is it drying out? Well, if you have a look at the hygrometer, the temperature has dropped actually, and it's dropping very rapidly um, from 14 odd degrees this morning to 12 and a half. The relative humidity this morning was, was about 80%. Uh, I think it so was higher than that, yeah. It was so. higher than that, yeah. yeah. It's now at 79, but you know what? That is relative. So actually it means there's a lot less water in the air. And if you have a look at the dew point, it's around about nine degrees. It was 12 this morning or thereabouts. Um, and the, the absolute is 8.7. So basically, you're not going to get condensation unless a surface in here is, is below nine degrees. So let's just have a look at what the imaging camera now tells us. So here we've got the imaging camera and we're looking at the garage floor. And you can see that we're trying to beat a target of nine. So all around here, the floor is at around 11.3. 11.1 and if you have a look at where there's still some water in other words water is evaporating and as water evaporates of course it cools things down so that's 10.3 another little patch here where it's evaporating that's 10.6 so bearing in mind that the dew point now going back to this is TD 8.8 .8 degrees so Translate that for us, simple folk, Peter. <laughs> it's everything is above dew point now, so all the water is evaporating. Okay. It's as simple as that. So we had a an early morning plunge in temperature of the floor, as opposed to the air temperature and the moisture content of the air. Now it's evened out. The temperature out there has dropped a little bit, but also the moisture content of the air has dropped dramatically. I don't know why, I can't explain the weather, but the fact is that the science says that we're no longer going to get any um, condensation on the floor, and indeed you can see that it's actively evaporating, which is why you're getting those cold spots on the floor of the garage here where there is still water, and that's how an evaporative air conditioner works. You pump water over a sheet, if you like, a, a, a filter bed, and you blow air through it, and that cools everything down. And that's exactly what's happening here. So um, everything's evaporating, the water's gone away, the, the air has dried up dramatically. So actually now we've got 8.57 grams, and I've just taken a measure inside, and the moisture level in the house is actually about the same as externally. It's in fact, it's a slightly, it's about nine grams and it's 8.5 out here. So technically now it's drier out here than it is in the house. So we can turn the fans on again in the house and we can, we can reduce the moisture level in the house and make sure we don't get any rising damp in there, which we never have had in 20 years, but hey-ho. Okay, and just, We've obviously talked before, and you're talking in your book a lot about water as a liquid, water as a gas. So it's raining outside. That's got nothing to do with the moisture content of the air outside, has it? It's not about the rain, because it's raining outside. So you would naturally think that the air is wetter if it's raining. Yeah, it's a common misconception. Okay. Um, <laughs> rain is formed very high <clears throat> up there in the clouds, and what you're talking about that rain is 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 formed in those conditions in the cloud so cloud as you go up obviously the temperature drops because we're we're getting away from the earth and the further up you go the colder it gets so rain forms in the cloud when you've got humid air cooling 
Now that's not the same as the conditions that you've got at ground level. So although it's raining, the air in between the raindrops is actually quite dry. Yeah, that's what I was getting at. It's measuring, so when you're measuring the absolute or the relative humidity of the air outside, it doesn't include the rain, is basically no. what I'm saying. No, no. That's a, and yeah. this, this also leads into why quite often when it rains, the ground dries up very quickly afterwards. And people might wonder why. Well, that's, that's the reason, because the rain was formed somewhere else. And all you're seeing is the, um, if you like, the symptoms of the fact that up there in the clouds, conditions were different. And that rain formed and then fell. Um, so you've got to bear in mind that just because it's raining, it doesn't mean to say it's wet outside in terms of the effect that the atmosphere is going to have on your house. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> I think I think that's gone in. You do need to explain lots to me, but that's yeah, that's really great. Okay, folks. I hope that's helpful for you. Um, cheers.